Today, I'll rank the five best high cut boots or boots with a sock that you can buy here in 2022. Let's go. Because after being introduced back in 2014 with the Nike Magista Obra, high cut football boots with a sock collar has become something that more or less all the brands do. So in today's video, I'll rank the five best, in my opinion at least, to hopefully help you decide which one of them to go for. And remember that if you want a high cut football boot, you can buy it from the link to unisports.com right up there. And we start from the back with fifth place, which is a New Balance Tequila 3.0 Plus. Now, I have been a little bit critical of the Tequila 3, the non-plus version in the past, because that was stiff as a board and not that comfortable. But with the upgrade to the Plus, New Balance have improved quite a lot in that area. It has a very good fit, is relatively wide, and even works for people with wide feet. And okay, for some people, it might be a bit of a nightmare to get on. But once you have it on your feet, it's actually pretty comfortable and molds well around your foot. The collar here is nice and compressed and you get this texture all over the boot. It feels like it adds a bit of grip and solidity when you strike the ball and dribble. And dare I say it, it has Magista Oprah One vibes. And that's definitely a compliment. Now, fourth place is the Nike Phantom GT2, which is actually Exactly the same as the low-cut GT2, just with a few more centimeters of color. So it is what it is. Now this boot here is made with a fly knit upper, a thin silicone coating on top, and then it has this generative texture, or just GT. Now on the first version of these, the first generation, it was actually made using a computer-generated pattern with different sizes and angles, hence the name, generative texture. However, on the GT2s, it's basically just the same chevron shapes, all over the boot. So maybe GT stands for generic texture. Now, all jokes aside though, it is a really well-performing, good all-rounder boot. And while the transition from the silicone film to the sock itself is a little bit harsh and maybe needs a bit more break in time than I expected, it's a good fit, especially when it softens up and it's great for wide-footed people. place is the Lotto Solista, which, okay, it might not be the most original looking boot on the list because it is heavily inspired by the Predator 18 Plus and the Superfly 4, but honestly, I don't really care because it works. What you get here is a really sock-like fit thanks to the knitted upper that also has this quite thin but also really plush foam package on the inside and combined with that super low and pointy toe box, it just sits wonderfully close to your foot and has a little bit of hint of elegance to it as well. It's a really narrow fitting boot and quite tight overall, so just keep that in mind. But for the money, it's absolutely incredible value and probably the closest thing you can get to a modern Superfly foot. <music> In second place, I've landed on the Puma Future Set 1.3, which is one of those boots I have a hard time seeing anyone really disliking. But on the other hand, it's a bit of a funny one because this boot's main strengths are the fit and the comfort, and it doesn't really have the same thing as we see a speed boot have. But with that said, it just works so well. It's a good all-rounder because it just fits everyone so well. You've got the Fusion Fit band here that really goes in, hugs your foot, supports it nicely, and locks it in place. The sock is really nice and feels premium. And then you have the forefoot, which is just so ridiculously soft, out of the box that it's almost not even funny. Now, the biggest problem here is that the boot runs a quarter of a size long, so it can be a little bit of a struggle finding that perfect fit. But if you can work with that or work around it, it's just a really easy boot to like. And because it's 200 euros, it's right up there with the Solista when we're talking value for money. But before we get to number one, there's another boot that I need to mention, and that is the Adidas Predator Edge Plus, because it's high cut. And it is by far the grippiest and most powerful feeling boot on the market to shoot with right now, but the overall stiffness and bulky shape of the upper is also a little bit of a deal breaker, for me at least. So right now, Adidas have some work to do to get the Predator back in the top five.
But the best boot, in my opinion, is the Nike Mercurial Superfly 8 Elite. And that is no coincidence because it just does so many things really, really well. It's got this soft, really thin upper and generally fits well whether you have a narrow foot like me or a boat of a wide foot like PWG. It's also really comfortable, even straight out of the box. It has arguably the most aggressive stock configuration on the market and a really well-balanced amount of grip because of the texture on the upper. And the lockdown is actually solid too. And okay, it might not be as speed-oriented as, say, the Vapor 11, but it's still a really good speed boot. And as a boot in general, it just ticks so many boxes. So if you are looking for new high cut boots, especially the top three is a great place to start. But which is actually the best high cut boot you ever worn? As always, let me know in the comment section right down below. And remember that if you are looking for new high cut boots, you can buy all of them on the list via the link to unsports.com right over there. Of course, also, if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And finally, if you want to improve a little bit more as a football player, the playlist right down there is pretty awesome. So you should totally go and check that out. With those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.